Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I will show you how to create a scrum board in SharePoint. Let's jump right into it. The first step is to create a SharePoint list. So go to new list, blank list, and I will call this one scrum. So each task in our scrum board needs to have certain fields we have to fill out. So for example, a title, a description, assigned to, and also a status. So let's create these four properties. So we have the title, then let's add a text. Then let's add assigned to. And then here comes the important one, that is the status. Our first status needs to be, for example, backlog. I like to have my task in there. Then we have to do. We have the doing. And then we have done. Let's change the colors. If you would like it to default always to the backlog, you can specify it here. But we actually also have an unassigned category here. And I'll show you that in a moment in the scrum board. The next step is to actually create the board view. So go to all items, create new view, choose the board. And I will name this one scrum board. And when you have to choose the organized board by, you have to choose the status here. As you can see here, now we have the scrum board with the different lanes. So let's try to add one in the backlog. As you can see here, we have our first task. Let's add a second one. And now we can actually move it back and forth between the, the lanes to have the, the scrum or Kanban feeling. In this setup, I also chose uh, to have the possibility of just adding a task without a status, then it will go into this unassigned items. You have the option to style the, the cards and you can do that by going to the scrum board and then customize card. And then you can actually choose uh, which field you would like to display on the card. Um, so let's not show the status because we already have that according to the lane. And the fields will not show on the card if it doesn't have a value. So I don't have any uh, card with any assigned to values. So that's why it doesn't show. And if you need, uh, for example, the ID field to be shown in the card, you have to go to the scrum board, add a remove fields, choose ID, then go into the customized card choose the ID and we can move it in the, we can move it to the top, for example. Great. All right, folks. So there you have it. A scrum board in SharePoint. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned how to create the scrum board. And there is a lot of possibilities with the board and I hope we can help you doing your task or project management. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to use the comment section.